In this video, I want to give you a quick review of Chapter 8. So, Chapter 8 is all about the same topics we've been talking about. It just has a different take on it, different perspective, if you would. So, um, he introduces a cute little game called the Critter, Critter Caretaker Program, in which case you feed the critter and play with the critter and listen to the critter, etc. Uh, hopefully, you'll find this kind of fun, but he does use this to talk about the basic concepts of object-oriented programming. And here you hear words like um, attributes. There's a no space there in object-oriented programming and methods and instantiation, instantiated objects, and so on. There's going to be a lot of verbiage in here or terms in here that hopefully my videos have given you a running start at. Uh, a lot of people find this chapter very difficult uh, because of all the terms. So take your time, read through them. These terms are important. And he will go through and tell you many of the same things I've just done. Of course, he has a different way of telling it. Certainly it's worth looking at his examples of creating constructors, attributes, making static methods, understanding encapsulation, understanding how private methods work, etc. So there's some good stuff to be uh, had in here. Please take your time to go through that chapter and read it. I will completely understand if chapter 8 is a bit difficult for you. It usually is for most people. By now you've probably watched all my videos. Reading this chapter, if you get bogged down in a particular spot, move on. Keep moving through the chapter. Don't get bogged down in two or three paragraphs that just don't quite make sense. In my experience, what doesn't make sense today may make sense tomorrow or the next week or the week after when you have more context. So I know that this is difficult. Um, for some people, actually, it, it'll be a breeze. But for the majority of people, it'll be a balance of difficult, but I can do it. And then for some people, it'll be like, oh, man, I'm overwhelmed. If you're one of the last group where you're feeling overwhelmed, don't worry. Normal. Just kind of move through the chapter. And then later on, as you have more time and uh, more experience with programming, you'll be able to come back to this chapter and say, wow, I don't know why it seemed that hard. We've seen that happen with lists and tuples. You've seen it happen with loops. So in if statements, you know it's possible for that to happen. Trust me, with time and experience, it will happen with object-oriented programming as well. OK, that's it. So uh, go ahead and read this uh, chapter. It's a, it's a good one. And I will see you in the next video, which is giving you an, um, an overview a starter, if you would, on uh, what the assignment is. See you there.